Did you know the yo-yo dates back to ancient Greece? That's right. The earliest known yo-yo was found in Greece, made from terracotta around 500 BC. It was used not just as a toy, but also in ceremonies and as a symbol of passing from childhood to adulthood. Fast forward to the 16th century, and the yo-yo reappears in the Philippines, crafted from wood. It was called a yo-yo, meaning come come in the Filipino language, reflecting its return motion. Spanish colonization spread the toy to Europe, where it became a popular pastime among nobility in the 18th century. The modern yo-yo as we know it was popularized in the 1920s by Pedro Flores, a Filipino immigrant to the United States, who started mass producing the toy. In 1928, he established the Yo-Yo Manufacturing Company in California. Shortly after, entrepreneur Donald F. Duncan saw the potential and acquired Flora's company, making the Yo-Yo an American sensation. Under Duncan's leadership, the Yo-Yo saw innovative advancements, including the introduction of the butterfly shape and the launch of competitions that spurred its popularity. Today, the yo-yo continues to fascinate children and adults around the world, showcasing a blend of simple joy and intricate tricks that trace back through centuries of history.